Good morning, good, beautiful morning from the heart of New Orleans here at the French Quarter, French Market, French Square, wherever you may be. This is Decatur Street and right behind me, we have Cafe Du Monde. So we gotta go get the beignets, we gotta try Cafe Du Monde's beignets, and then we're gonna head on over and try Cafe Beignet and compare and see which one's the better one. And you know what, you're coming with me, so let's roll that intro and let's go. Cafe Du Monde, just outside the French Quarter in the French Market on Decatur Street. We're going to go inside the French Market, and there's a couple places in there I want to get some lunch from. I did my research. I searched and searched and searched, and Google and YouTube were my best friends. So I'm going to bring you some of the places that I think are the good eat spots here in New Orleans, right outside in the French Market, very close to Bourbon Street and Central New Orleans. So I'm going to try a few things inside. We'll see what they got. And today is just going to be a food day. We're going to pack our gills full of all different New Orleans eats. So let's go get some food. And then our dessert will finish off with Cafe Beignet to do our comparison of who has the best beignets. Let's go. After, I'm gonna say like an hour wait in line, Cafe Dumont Beignets, and I'm probably gonna butcher this, but Cafe Ou Light La Black something coffee. This is the one with the chicory. I'm not gonna put anything in it. I like black coffee, so I'm gonna just try it out. It's nice and hot, needs a little bit of sugar. But the real reason on why we came here, the beignets, and I'm gonna tell you, they're hot, so I'm probably gonna burn myself. They are coated in powdered sugar and covered in powdered sugar. It's hot, it's doughy, it's sweet. Don't inhale when you bite. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a lucamade. If you ever had a lucamade, it's like a Greek donut coated with some honey and some almonds. Or you can get it with powdered sugar. So that's what this reminds me of. But it's good, it's not bad. We're gonna have to try a cafe beignet and see which one's better, Dumont or beignet. From the locals, I'm hearing it's beignet. So we're gonna have to try that one next.
So our first stop here in the French market is a place called Nolens. I got the jumbo spicy barbecue shrimp, the jambalaya, as well as the seafood gumbo. It costs about $42 after tip, and it takes about 25 to 35 minutes. Let's hope it doesn't take that long because I am hungry. All I had was some beignets, and I really wasn't that big of a fan of them. I'm not going to lie. They were good, but they weren't the, the best thing on earth. However, some seafood gumbo, some jambalaya, and some spicy barbecue jumbo shrimp caught right out here from Lake Pontchartrain. That's what the menu said. That's what I look forward to. I'm a seafood lover, and y'all know that from the past vlogs. But it's time to get down on some food when it gets here. And of course, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So don't think I'm going to eat and not show y'all because i got to show y'all. I just wish y'all could smell some of the things and the smells that are coming out of this city because I'm telling you now, if they had smell-o-vision on YouTube, I'd be at 5 million subscribers right now with all the amazing food from Europe and everywhere else I've been. So I'm telling you, come here, come to the French market, enjoy the sights, the sounds. Hopefully this food is going to be so good I can taste colors and, and see sounds, but we'll see. I'll be the judge of that one. But again, get off the beaten path. Find those places that the locals eat at. Don't always eat at the places that everyone else doesn't go to. Find that local establishment, and I'm hoping I found it here at Nolan's. And then when we're done here, later on, it's po' boy time. So the seafood gumbo just got here. There's some shrimp, some redfish. It looks like to be some little scallops in there. Some andouille sausage. Let's give this a try. Cheers. Chunks of chicken. It's nice and spicy. That is right. The wind is blowing. So hopefully you can hear me. But that is awesome. Seafood gumbo. It's nice, it's spicy, it's full of flavor. If you're a person that doesn't like spice, that might be a little too much for you. But this is New Orleans and Creole and Cajun food has a lot of spice in it. This is the city for me. I love spicy food and I love dishes that look like this. This is jambalaya. This is one of my favorites. And the Creole way and the Cajun way of making it is completely different. One uses tomato base, the other one doesn't. But I tell you right now, no matter what way you make it, it gonna make me happy. So this is the Cajun way. It ain't made with a tomato base, but it is full of flavor. The rice is not dry. The meat inside of it is not dry. And they give you bread. So y'all already know. I love dunking my bread. Try not to get nothing on my hoodie. But I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I got some Cajun food. I'm cool with it. It's good. As soon as these shrimp come up, I know I'm going to be more happy. And then later on, me and Chuck, we're going to go eat like 20 po' boys. So <laughs> this is going to be a great food day in New Orleans. Just food. Tons of food. I think they just called Chuck's name for something else. His potato bowl. I don't know. But he's over there eating the red beans and rice, and they just called my name for the shrimp. I'll be back. You have no idea how happy I am right now. Look at that bowl of shrimp. You gotta be a fan of the shrimp with the heads on. They got their heads. The best part is sucking that juice out of that head. Let's take a look at this bowl of glorious shrimp. And this is garlic butter on the bread. It's harder, it's crunchy. Oh. I'm about to get down. Let's try out these, I'm gonna call them mini lobsters they got on this plate. Mm, look at that head. Oh. Suck all that flavor off of them legs. I'm glad I took my hoodie off because that thing just squirted all over me.
you just work that shrimp right out of that shell. Once you get it worked out, take that shrimp and dunk that bad boy in all that juice that they give you. That's so good. Soaking that bread in it makes it even better. Nice and spicy. Just the way it should be. Just wish it wasn't so windy. Shrimp in the sauce. Soak it up and enjoy. Not much else you can ask for. Absolutely delicious shrimp. I'm gonna get down with this. And I might take a bite of Cameron's po' boy. He got a sausage, alligator sausage po' boy. Chuck got a potato bowl with some thick cut bacon. Boy, that looked good. Let me see that, Chuck. Look at that. Ooh, that's the potato bowl. And look, alligator sausage po' boy. Man, I'm telling you, we know how to eat around here. Get these shrimp. These shrimp are awesome. If I had to pick anything off of the menu here at Nolan's to get, it's absolutely these shrimp. The gumbo was good, but the spice that comes out of this shrimp with a nice piece of garlic bread dunked in that sauce. I'm going to finish up these shrimp. I'm going to enjoy this meal with my friends. And then it's off to the next place. Let's go. Shrimp fingers. Now it's time for a little sweet after all that savory seafood, gumbo, jambalaya. You can't come to New Orleans and not get no pralines. Look at that. They take it, they drop it in the bag. I got three different kinds. I don't know which one this is, but I got a peanut butter, I got an authentic, and I got the coconut. I also got something a little else in here because, you know, it's Mardi Gras season in New Orleans, so I got a king cookie. Not a king cake. I had some king cake earlier at the hotel, but I got a king cookie in there. We're gonna try this one and see which it is. Let's go. That's the original one. I mean, look how big these things are. That's coconut. And I'm assuming that's the peanut butter one. It's a lot of sugar. But you only live once, right? So. Peanut butter is my absolute favorite, so I'm not sharing that one. But look at that king cookie. I just hope when I bite into it, there's no baby inside. Mm. That is a praline filled cookie. That is awesome that only thing I need now is a nice glass of milk my blankie my binky and we know where the baby comes from with the king cookie so the great thing I discovered about New Orleans is you can walk everywhere which means in my brain I can eat more food or different things and I just walk and I burn it off on my way to the next place now that's not 100% factual or true. The walking everywhere is, the eating everything is not. So pace yourself. Don't just indulge all at one time. If you're with a group like I am, get the one thing and share it amongst everybody. That way you're not eating it all by yourself. Everyone here is so friendly. I feel like I'm in my grandmom's kitchen. They just keep giving you more. The more money you give them, the more food they give you. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm all right with it. Enjoy the city. Eat everything.
carry in there, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little tight, it's a convenience store, little grocery store, and in the back they make sandwiches. I got the shrimp po' boy. That is it, shrimp po' boy. Lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise on a French baguette. It was almost $19, but the smell alone is worth the cost. And I mean, it's just falling out with fried shrimp. There is so much. Mm. I'm gonna have to eat some of the shrimp before I can even bite the sandwich. Listen, this is just not something you can grab and eat on the street because there's so much shoved in there. So please excuse me why I shoved this in my face. It's delicious. Full of flavor, full of spice. Shrimp is nice and spicy. But I promise you, there's no pretty way to eat this. If your hotel's local, get it, take it back to your hotel. Because trying to eat it on the street, it's not going to work. versus Cafe Du Monde. We had the Cafe Du Monde, now it's time for the Cafe Beignet. Oh, and already, the look, the smell, the airiness of this one looks way better than Du Monde. Excuse me while I get white powdered sugar all over me for a second. It's doughy, it's airy, it's fluffy. Cafe Du Monde was a little more dense so it felt a little more heavy. I'm telling you right now. They're both good. They're both great. Cafe Du Monde might have originated there but Cafe Beignet perfected it. This is way better. It's way better. It's way more airy and fluffy. This is way better. But you be the judge. You try them both when you're in New Orleans. I'm gonna have to say Cafe Beignet for me is the winner. I'm gonna finish this up, I'm gonna finish the coffee. Then I'm gonna catch an Uber back to the hotel and relax for a little bit. Cause tonight, we're going to a basketball game. The New Orleans Pelicans versus the Washington Wizards. Let's go. Always do something different in the city you're in. Why not take in a game?